Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at WAV2LIP. What is this, you may be wondering? Well, the About section has this to say. This repository contains the codes of a lip sync expert is all you need for speech to lip generation in the wild, published at ACM Multimedia 2020. And there is a link there. If we scroll down, we've got the animated GIF and the various lip syncing action going on there. Fantastic stuff. So let's have a look at these highlights. Lip sync videos to any target speech with high accuracy. Try our interactive demo. So if you click on that link, that will take you over here. And you can upload a video file and your own audio and sync the pair there up to 20 seconds. Or you've got some examples there if you want to play with that as well. So this works for any identity, voice and language. Also works for CGI faces and synthetic voices. Complete training code, inference code, and pre-trained models are available. There's also the Google Colab notebook link there too. Excellent stuff. So prerequisites, unfortunately, did not work for me. Python 3.2 and their, sorry, 3.5.2 and their requirements text um, didn't solve. Uh, so I went to Python 3.6 and that was okay. So I've got my uh, Anaconda environment file there if you want to have a play with that as well little paste bin link also down in the description and then of course conda env create minus f the environment.yml and that will create the environment ready to go so once you've got that you can download these weights there's three models there the wav to lip wav to lip plus gan and the expert discriminator the descriptions there and obviously the three links so once you've got those you put them into the various directories and things checkpoints you can start playing with inference. So let's have a little look at that. So in here, you've got the checkpoints there. So I've got my two options. I've got the uh, GAN or the normal one. So I'm gonna use the GAN one because that one's quite good. Then minus face argument. I've got a videos directory, which I've created. And there's a few videos in there. And then the audio directory. And again, there's some audio in there. We have a quick look at that video directory. So this is the video that I just picked. So this is what it sounds like to start with. You work fast, don't you? Oh, I've learned quite a lot about you, doctor. You'd be surprised how well Washington knows you. Care to hear? You work fast. <laughs> anyway, that's that. So, and then you go to lip sync it. And that will go through and sound completely different, isn't it? So, while that is doing its thing, uh, there are some tips here. So there's a minus minus pads argument and also a resize factor. So uh, it says you may want to get a lower size uh, resolution video because that is what it was trained on. Um, I'm using a 480p, so if you've got 1080p, you might want to use a, a resize factor of two or three, get it down a little bit. Uh, you can also specify out file if you don't want it to go to that default. Uh, static, you can use images as well. Uh, FPS to go along with static. Um, and there's also batch sizes as well and crops and box things and rotates you can do as well. So let's have a look at what that video clip now sounds like with my voice. <clears throat> Results. Result. What's going on here then? Why are all these people's lips moving in time to what I'm saying instead of what the film actually said in the first place? What sorcery is this? And there you go. So that, that's quite silly. And if we have a look at the same thing, but with this minus static option as well, so we can pop that in. Now again, I've created an images directory and put lots of art breeder faces in there. So if I have a look at that art breeder face there and do the very same audio, again, that won't take very long to process through at all. Do, 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 do. And that should come out in the same place. We'll just have a look at the images. So those are the images there. I've got lots of art reader faces that look a little bit like that. So playing with lots of things. I did find that one actually worked very well with the, the redness of the lips. It seemed to work quite well. But let's have a look at this one that has just come out in my results. Here we go again. What's going on here then? Why are all these people's lips moving in time to what I'm saying instead of what the film actually said in the first place? What sorcery is this? Hmm, indeed. Indeed. You could almost do a talking orange that way, couldn't you? Anyway, that's, uh, that's more than enough for me. Go and have a play. Accurately lip-syncing videos in the world. Rodent out.